I invoke and invite the presence of Kamapua'a within me. I am clear and open to sharing this body in this moment. Kamapua'a is my guide and my partner. Kamapua'a is here now. Blessings, peace, and joy. This is Kamapua'a. You are running a race. You are fighting a battle. These are metaphors that you use to describe the process of incarnation, of living, the wins and losses. This is the battlefield that I represent. As a god of war, I am often associated with destruction, with violence, because of that title. That is not who I am. That is not what I represent. I want to talk to you today about expectations and reality. You will experience many setbacks in this life. You will even experience some today. That is as it should be. You cannot, nor should you win every battle. You cannot be the winner of every race. That is not ultimately what counts. When you experience loss, when you feel the crush of defeat, when you work hard and nothing comes of it, you get discouraged, you feel broken, you feel so much disappointment, and that is part of your incarnate experience. We, I, Kamapua'a, am a god of conflict, but I am also associated with joy, with the pleasures of life. This is just as important. You see a future that is possible for you. It is the path you walk. When you walk towards that goal and you check your progress, you see that you are getting closer to it or maybe you are moving away and you need to make corrections to your method, to your path. Yes, but sometimes when you get to the top of that mountain, there's nothing there. No sage, wise man, no wisdom, no lesson. It was just effort with no reward. This sounds like a discouraging message, but I assure you it is not. It is simply that you had an expectation of what you would find when you reached that mountaintop. But sometimes all that is on the top of the mountain is a pile of rocks, weeds, scrub brush. It can still be beautiful. It can still be worth the effort even if you see it as failure. Of course you are saying, I know how to find the lesson in my failures. Kamapwa, is this all you have to share? Is this the only insight? No. <laughs> there is more. Please pay attention. What I want you to see is that you have your expectations and then you have the reality. Often when the reality is revealed to you and it does not align with your expectations, you feel cheated. You feel lost. Maybe you were going to marry someone, you thought this person was your partner, and then they revealed themselves to be a liar and a cheat. Or maybe they developed an illness and they left you. They were still a wonderful person, but you lost them before their time. We understand the pain 
and the grief associated with this, but much of that pain and grief is because you had expectations about what that future was going to look like, what you were going to be, how you would feel. Maybe you long for a better job or you're trying to have a child. There are so many things, so many areas where this can apply. Now listen for the lesson. The reality, while it seems cruel, does have a beauty of its own. And it is more than simply looking for the good amongst the bad, trying to learn something from the failures that you can succeed next time. That is not the whole point. Listen, my children. What I want you to see is that every disappointment, every loss, every failure carries a new reality for you. Maybe even a better reality. It is not just about finding the good amongst the bad. It is about recognizing that your expectations, what you thought should happen, is not necessarily what was in the highest good for you or for the world. What we mean is nothing truly happens outside the plan of the universe, of source, of spirit. That means that every atrocity, every battle, every loss is part of the clockwork mechanisms that is part of the bigger drama, part of the bigger narrative of which you have assumed the privilege and the trial of playing out. So when you see that reality does not match your expectations, learn to recognize the higher, deeper truth. There is something bigger coming. There is something better in the works. There is something brighter in this future. Your expectations clouded you from seeing what was really going on in the bigger picture. Now that those expectations have been dashed, you have a golden opportunity to assess and find the higher good, the higher path, the deeper purpose for you. We also want you to recognize that there is plenty of joy and beauty to be found in every moment right where you are. So many of you are so focused on the future and on what your plans are, what your future will look like, you have lost sight of the ground on which you are standing. You do not see the flowers of possibility that are all around you because you are so consumed with a future that has not yet materialized. We urge you to be present. We urge you to recognize that you may have lost this battle, but you will win the war. Especially if you learn to recognize the victories and the possibilities in your defeat. It is not going to look how you think it should look. Have some humility to see that it can be better than what you think it should be. In this way, you draw closer to your own divine essence as you align your heart and your spirit with your higher self, your truer purpose. Let this be an encouragement to you. It is our privilege to bring this message to your ears. Thank you for your attention. This was your brother, Kamapua. Peace be with you. Many of you know that I don't come out with a message in mind all the time. Sometimes I have 
a, a message that's been given to me in pieces and I have to get it out. <laughs> I have to come and channel and get this topic addressed. This was not the case today. I came out looking for a place to channel. This is uh, Tennessee Valley. Um, I'm originally from Tennessee, so it was a kind of a namesake reason to come out. Um, there was a ship that actually crashed in this cove over here a hundred years ago, and uh, apparently you can still see pieces of it when the tide is low. But I didn't have a message, and I was looking for a place to channel, and I ended up climbing this mountain, and there was nothing up there. And I worked really, really hard. And I, I got to the top, and I started to sob, because I really put all my energy into it. And that's when Guidance came through and said, you know, there's a bigger message here for you and one that you can share today if you're open to it. So this was healing for me because that was a disappointment. I worked really hard to get up there. It was about two miles uphill. And uh, <laughs> that was it was a lot. It was very steep. And I got to the top and I thought, what was the point of this? Why did I come up here? Why did I put so much work into something that ended up being so empty. And that's when Spirit said, there's truth in this. It's a tiny example, but I'm going to try to put that into practice in my bigger picture. And if you have something that you're struggling with, try sharing it. I'd love to hear what you're going through, what your, your hopes and dreams are. If you're interested in sharing that in the comments, I'd really love to hear and, and start to build a community with all of you. Um, we're in this together. We're on this journey together. And I think we can really get a lot out of sharing our struggles and our successes. So if you'd like to participate in that today, I would really love it. Just uh, also, if you could just give this video a like if you enjoyed this message and share it with a friend, that would be awesome. Um, I've actually retooled my... Instagram, which I never use, <laughs> and it's going to be a place to kind of preview what next week's message is going to be about. So if you want to subscribe to my Instagram, it's at universal underscore Reiki, R-E-I-K-I, and uh, that's where you'll see some quotes from the next week's message and some pictures of where the channeling ha happened. So uh, tune in there if you'd like a little extra dose in between. You get some little quotes and some nuggets of the message that's yet to come. So I'm uh, enjoying actually putting that together. It's sort of a new piece to this. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a really wonderful weekend. And thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time. This was Daniel Zafer-Joyce for Universal. <laughs>